Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening and in this video I'm going to plant some seedlings that I started in the paper towel in our kitchen. A few days ago I took some seeds of black beauty zucchini, made a paper towel damp, put the seeds on one side of the paper towel and covered them with the other side, put it all in a ziplock bag and then kept it on a countertop. And this was my second batch of seeds. I did the first batch of seeds just before that and I put them all on top of the refrigerator but I think it was too warm for them. The seeds overheated and they all rotted. So I decided to try the second batch. Thankful I had more seeds and I simply kept them on top of the countertop by the stove where they were warm and yet not overheated. So this is what the sprouted seeds look like today. Let me get them out of the bag. Since I didn't know how many seeds would sprout, I put more seeds in a paper towel and I have too many sprouts that I need. So I might give some of them away. But you can see that a lot of the seedlings already came out of the shell. They look like this. So I'll just have to grab a seedling like that, possibly with the paper towel, if the roots grew through the paper towel, but it seems like all the roots are still separate, so that's great. So I'm going to simply take one of the seedlings and place it in the soil like this. I'm going to plant the seedlings in an in-ground bed that I already amended with some composted cow manure. So all I will have to do is add some fertilizer. So I'm going to plant my first seedling in the spot. I'll dig it slightly deeper and I'll just throw some all-purpose fertilizer in the hole. I'll get another little batch and then mix it all with the soil. Our soil is heavy clay, so it had to be amended with some composted cow manure. And then I'm going to bring all the soil back. The soil here is already moist as I watered it just a few minutes ago. So I'm going to make a little hole in the ground and I can put the whole seedling underneath the soil and cover it all with the soil and then the seedling will emerge and I need to press the soil just slightly around the seedling not too much or I can keep the leaves just above the soil level and that will be just fine like that and again I'm going to press the soil around the seedling just slightly and all I have to do now is just water the seedlings. I'm planting the seedlings on a day when it's cloudy. That way the sun is not going to burn tender seedlings. If it was a sunny day, then I would probably plant the seedlings more towards the evening. That way they would have the whole night to get used to being outside. After I planted the seedlings, I'm gonna make sure to water them well. When I water from the top, the water will settle the soil down around the roots and remove all the air pockets. And that's important for the roots to grab into the soil to keep growing. If there are some air pockets, the plant will be struggling and eventually will die. I also have these seedlings of spaghetti squash that I also start in a paper towel the same way. And once they sprouted, I put the seedlings into the soil in the containers. And now they've grown a little bit and today I'm going to plant them straight into the ground. I have this small in-ground bed here that I already amended with some composted cow manure and I watered it to make the soil is moist and I'm going to plant the seedlings into the soil and I'm going to plant these seedlings the exact same way I planted Black Beauty zucchini seedlings. I'm just going to dig the hole deeper than the container because I want to apply some all-purpose fertilizer on the bottom of this hole and then I'll mix it with the soil so the roots would not get burnt. And then I'm going to take out the seedling out of the container. The roots look great. They're not bound at all. It's perfect. And I'm going to set it in the soil at the same depth the seedling is in this container. And I'll simply fill up the hole with the dirt. And I'm going to make sure to tuck the soil in well to try to remove all the air pockets. But when I water the seedlings, the water will help remove the air pockets even better. And I'm going to make sure to keep watering it for the next few days well, just so the plants are well established and all the air pockets are removed. Today is May 13th and all our seedlings are doing great. For some of them, I built this hoop house or hoop tunnel to protect them from squash bugs and squash vine borers. And so let's come closer and see how they're doing. I'm going to uncover this mesh. So here is our little zucchini seedlings. They all look great. I did not harden them off. We did get a lot of rain after I planted them and also I set 
set up this drip irrigation that's been helping to keep the soil moist and also we fertilize our seedlings and all our garden through our drip irrigation so I'm sure it helped them stay healthy and grow so well but also cooler temperatures and rain help them flourish our spaghetti squash seedlings are also looking healthy. They have dark green or bright green leaves. And I also set up the drip irrigation here to help keep the soil moist. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.